Uh, I'm gonna go back to Dallas. Go see my beautiful mama and my sisters and just relax. You, you feel like you're really turning a corner here, Corey, last couple of games. I mean, Seems like you're really starting to play, probably like they thought you would when they drafted. <laughs> um, I guess I don't know. We, you know what I mean? It's tough around here. Um, but we're gonna keep, continue to keep on working. I'm gonna continue to keep on working. Uh, nobody's giving up, um, and that's what's really good about this locker room and you know the older guys um, leading us and stuff. Nobody's showing any signs of you know, quitting. Corey, what's the situation with you at Pump Return? Is that a dead issue for the rest of this year, or do you still take reps there? Or what? Um, I still take reps there. I can be back there, you know, anytime. Um, you know, we're just playing it by ear. You know, I take a lot of snaps on offense, too. So, you know, this last game we had 70-some plays on offense, something like that, had a lot, so a lot of running. Corey, how nice is it to get back in the end zone? <clears throat> and did you know at the start of the play that it was going to work? It was going to open up for you like that? No, in NFL, you never know <laughs> <laughs> how it's going to open up. Um, you know, they called the play, and um, I knew the guy who was on me, he was off coverage, so I knew I had to really sell it really good to get him to bite on it. Where'd you, uh, is uh, breaking DB's ankles part of the Corey Coleman repertoire here now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We just, man, we're trying to get a win. That, that's, that's what. The main goal is. Hey, earlier, you, in your answer, you kind of hesitated and said it's tough around here. Is it tougher than you ever dreamt it possibly could be? Yeah, yeah, it is tough. You know, I, um, it's hard. You know, we haven't won a game. We're still trying to, you know, fight and, you know, trying to win a game. So, of course, it's hard. It'd be hard for any organization. Was, Jen was Jenkins talking a lot of junk out there and then? Did you ever react, or did you see his tweets towards Terrell, and did you ever react to that? No, nah, he wasn't talking nothing to me. No? Nah, he didn't say anything to me. Did you see what he said afterwards about Terrell? Um, no, what did he say? <laughs> no, what, what did he say? In his form. No, no, put it in his form, what did he say? <laughs> we'll call it up and yeah, show you. Y'all yeah, don't want to say it? Bad words. Bad words? Bad words. Let, me, let me hear you say it. I don't say those words. You don't say those words? Oh, all right. I don't want you to say it. You said, you said nobody's quitting. You feel like that, that, that win is attainable, more attainable than ever, though? You feel like you guys are getting closer to it? Um, yeah, we are working really hard. If you watched all the games we played, you know, if you actually watch close, you can see these little things, small, you know, details um, that keep us from winning. It's not like, oh, you know, like, we're just having a bad game. It's just like we have we haven't put a full game together. That's what I say. We played game. We we had played a good quarter before. We played a great half before. You no, know, we played a great second half, not a good first half. So we just got to put it together. It was one of those things. Uh, Josh said on the play where there was a fumble that Pierre Paul returned for a touchdown. Did he had you breaking open? Did you feel like you? He got deep, and that was could have been another touchdown. Right. I thought I thought he was throwing it to me, but you know the way. Stuff works out in the NFL. You, just when you think you're about to get it, something happens, and uh, you know, like it's little stuff we got to clean up to help us complete plays like that. Would you give up five reps on offense for five punts return reps? Man, five, whatever to help us win, I do it. So if it means that I go back there five reps and score a touchdown, I give it up. Right, did, did, did he return punts his rookie year? I think so. Or are you just making that up? Why would he do it in his third year if he didn't do it his rookie year? Maybe, you know, he got the feel of the game with the NFL. Patrick Peterson did it his first year, and he set yeah. records down. Yeah. So he went from Odell to Patrick Peterson. Well, I mean, I see these first rounders returning punts. Antonio Brown. That was what the Antonio Brown? He returns them. When he started returning? Whole career he's done it, right? Whole career. Oh, yeah, I just think it's a scoring opportunity. Yeah, it is a scoring opportunity. Hey, I'm going to do whatever the coaches want me to do. <laughs> do, you, uh, do you look at... Um, you like to see me back there? 
Yeah, I'd like to see you. No, I'm going to tell my coach. Hey, what's your name? Tony. I'm going to say, Tony like to see me back there, coach. Here. I'm bringing it up. I don't know who you're talking about. Yeah, I'm going to say, Tony want to see me back there. Can I get back there? We'll get right on that. deleted his tweets. He deleted them? I didn't see what he tweeted. What he, he tweet? Said he was, said the trail ain't shit to him. Oh, dang. What Terrell have? 130-some <laughs> yards? Yeah. Remember. Dang. Yeah. What else? <laughs> <laughs> do you, do, uh, we're on the subject of punt returns. I mean, do you ever lobby the Tabor? Do you ever ask him? I was about to, to go back there last game, but Duke told me he was okay. Yeah, we've been playing with a lot of quarterbacks, so you know, at this point, we're happy whoever's back there. As long as they're healthy, we're ready to roll. Do you think that could jumpstart you guys? Though? I mean, you guys have scored 39 points in four games, and Hugh talks about all the time that you got to do better than that. I mean, do you think it, RG3, he does some things a little bit different. We know that. Could that jumpstart you? Do you have that hope? Uh, I hope. We would love to see RG3 out there. Whatever's going to give us the best chance of winning and making this football team the best they can be, you know? And the, we don't know. The coaches know. They they know what they're doing. That's why, you know, they get paid to do what they do. Would you have ever believed that, you know, when you were in three camp and you know, there were you and RG3 and Josh Gordon was still around, Terrell, Duke, and everybody, that you guys would have scored less than 10 points a game over the last four games? Never, you know, it's, it's tough for me. I'm a rookie. This is my, you know, first year I come from, you know, my whole background. I've been winning my whole life. But, you know, um, like I said, the table's going to turn. It, like, it can't get any worse.